Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a fall look for you, something that I've been wanting to do for a while. I love these colors. I just got the new Morph 35F palette and I am loving it. I use it like every single day. It's really easy and it looks really good. So don't forget to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button down below, and let's get started. So first I'm just going to take my Smashbox photo finish primer and I'm going to just put it on my eyelids just so that it holds the eyeshadow color well and it let, helps it stick all day. Next I'm going to be taking this orange color right here and I'm just going to be working that all along my eyelid crease line. I'm going to use this Vesto brush and it looks like this and I got this on Amazon. I got a pack of them and they're really good brushes. I mean if you don't want to spend a whole lot on brushes this is definitely a really good brand. I've used them a ton of times. Now you're just going to work that right in the crease line and bring it up just a little bit where your brow bone is. Okay, now that we have that, I'm just going to take this Morph E24 brush and it's just a little bit pointy. And what I like to do is take a dark color like this dark brown right here. It's almost like a charcoal brown. You can use any color that you want that's dark. But I'm just going to smoke it out a little bit, not a whole lot. Just right here, right on the line of that of your eyelid crease. And then I'm going to bring it in just a little bit by right where your eyelid is. Just bring it down a little. Now I'm going to take this Morph E17 brush. And it's just real little, has little bristles, and it's great for blending any color. And I'm just going to grab that orange color that I used just a little bit ago and just blend all of that dark in. Just so you don't have such a faint line there. Now for on top of the eyelid, I'm just going to be using this color right here. It's kind of a mauve burgundy color and it has a lot of shimmer in it and it is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, next I'm just going to be taking this pink brush. It's just a random brush and um, it's really loose, bristled, and great for blending out the eyeshadows. And I'm just going to blend all of it. Just where the burgundy mauve color is and the orange meat and then this dark color over here just so I don't have any harsh lines. Now I'm just going to take this color right here and I'm just going to put it right below my eyebrows and then later on I'll put it also in the corner of my eyes just to brighten up my eye a little bit. Now 
Next, I'm just going to be adding some Ardell lashes, and they are the 110 black, and I've used them a time or two before. So now, moving on with the face, I'm going to use, again, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm almost out of this. I love this primer, but I have felt... I have found some alternatives to it, so I don't think I'll be getting it again. I don't know. So next I'm just going to take my NYX concealer, and it's the green one, and it's just going to cover up some redness, because your girl got a pimple, and my nose is red a little bit. Okay, so next I'm going to use the Infallible Pro Matte L'Oreal Foundation that I have been loving lately, especially for the price. Now I'm going to take my Urban Decay uh, concealer and just put it right on top of that. And then just a little bit on my nose. And I'm not going to put it on my forehead or my chin because I don't really feel like I need extra coverage there. So now I'm just going to bake my face with my Airspun Translucent Powder. You can bake your face with when any kind of powder. It's really not something that you have to have the most expensive powder for. All you're doing is just setting in that concealer just so that you don't get any creases or, you know, anything. It just kind of sets it in there. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the brows while I'm letting my face bake. And I'm going to be using the e.l.f. eyebrow pencil in the color taupe, I believe. My eyebrows are looking crazy today. Some days your eyebrows on fleek and some days your eyebrows are not. <laughs> Today is one of those days. Yesterday I had a good eyebrow day, so of course I'm not going to have one today. Okay, while I'm still letting my face bake, I'm going to go ahead and add my bottom eyeliner, and it is the Avon. Okay, so now I'm going to just go ahead and wipe away my uh, translucent powder. I didn't let it bake as long as I normally do, but we in a time crunch now. Getting ready for work. So now I'm going to take my Makeup Revolution, and this is one of my go-to bronzers, you guys already know. And I'm just going to bronze up my face a little bit. Not contouring a lot, just a little bit right there. Just to give my face some color. And I'm using this e.l.f. bronzing brush. I'm just going to bronze up my forehead. You don't have to. It just depends on if you want to make your forehead look a little bit smaller or not. Now, moving on to the blush. I'm going to use this e.l.f. blush brush. <laughs> it's always a hard one to say. Blush brush. Um, and I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Hot Spice Palette. And it's got some more warm tones in it. And I think I'm going to use, let's see. I think I'm going to use this one right here. It's more of a, um, like a warm blush. Not too pink, but... Something great for the fall. 
Now, you got to be careful with these Makeup Revolution blushes because they are extremely pigmented and they will make you looking like a clown. If you do get too much, just grab a blending brush, any kind of brush, and just blend it out a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to take the highlighter and I'm just going to highlight a little bit and I'm going to be using this e.l.f. small tapered brush and it's perfect for highlighting. I'm loving e.l.f. brushes right now, especially for the face. Um, I have a lot of more brushes for my eyeshadows, but for the face, e.l.f. is definitely getting the job done. So I'm just going to highlight right, right on top of the cheekbones and then drag it all the way back to my temple. Just so that you can be glowing. And then right on top of my eyebrows. And then on my Cupid's bow. Actually, I'm going to use my finger for that. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with the Morph palette and just finish up... Um, my eyes and I'm going to take this these two this burgundy and this orange and just put it underneath my bottom eyelid <clears throat> or my bottom lash line and I'm going to use this pink brush that is little and straight and I'm gonna put the burgundy color in there first And you could just leave it at that. Put that burgundy down there and it looks flawless. Or you can add a little bit of some orange, which I'm going to do. And I'm going to do it with this little pink brush. Now I'm going to use that same little brush and um, I'm going to be taking this highlighting color and just put it right there in my tear duct just to brighten those eyes up. Okay, so now to finish this look off, I'm going to be using the Full Lips um, Sable Brown Lip Liner and the NYX Liquid um, Cream Lipstick. And it is in the color, where is it at? Soft Spoken. And it looks like that. I feel like this would be kind of a good combination. We'll see. I look like I have a mustache. Ooh, girl, look at those lips. That looks good. All right, guys, well, that finished off this look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. It's great for the fall. It's simple. I mean, it's an everyday look for me because I love these colors. This lip color, I think, just, like, really just set it off. So, yeah, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you have not already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.